Hello, today I'm doing Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 1. Our objectives today are, I can connect centimeter cubes to estimate the length of an object, and I can count and use numbers and words to show my understanding. So we'll start with our application problem. Vincent counts 30 dimes and 87 pennies in a bowl. How many more pennies than dimes are in the bowl? Okay, so we need to circle our key information. We have 30 and they're dimes, but we don't have to count the value of them. We're just counting them as an object. So we're just gonna circle 30 and 87 pennies, same thing. We're just counting them as objects. We're not figuring out how much money we have, like a value. So we'll just circle 87. Okay, then we'll underline our question. How many more pennies than dimes are in the bowl? Okay, so we can start with our tape diagram. So we'll draw. 87 and I'll put a P for pennies and then we have 30 dimes so we need to make it smaller there's 30 and D for dimes and then we need to figure out this area we need to find out what the difference is here you know from here to here what's the difference between 87 and 30 so Whenever you see in a word problem, how many more, that's going to let you know that you can use subtraction to figure out this problem. Okay, so I'm going to line up my equation vertically. Um, I think it's a pretty easy way to do this. So we have to make sure we line up our tens and ones correctly so we don't get confused on what we need to subtract and then we go straight down we always start on the right we go down okay so 7 minus 0 is 7 and 8 minus 3 is 5 so we can see the difference between 87 and 30 is 57 okay so we need to write our sentence to answer our question. Our question again is how many more pennies than dimes are in the bowl? So we can say 57 more pennies than dimes are in the bowl. Okay, so then we will flip on over to our problem set and our directions say use centimeter cubes to find the length of each object. Okay, so I have some centimeter cubes here. So each one equals a centimeter. So what we need to do is measure, measure each one of these. Now the thing is, when you're measuring, you have to have the cubes right next to each other. Okay, if you have them spaced out, then it's not going to give you an accurate measurement. We want to make sure we have them all next to each other. So. We measure straight on this line, line it up there. Okay. And we can see we used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we used seven centimeter cubes. Okay. So when you measure the hammer and the comb, 
you need to make sure you have them all touching each other. Okay? So, we'll turn our page. I'll let you do the other two on this page on your own so you could get some practice there. And then we have a shovel for you to measure on this page. Okay. And then I am going to do number five with you. Okay. So it has the head of a grasshopper is two centimeters long. The rest of the grasshopper's body is seven centimeters long. What is the total length of the grasshopper? Okay, so our key information, we have two centimeters long for his head, okay? And the rest of the grasshopper's body is seven centimeters long. And we wanna find out what is the total length of the grasshopper? Okay, so we can draw a picture. I'm just doing a rough sketch here. So we have the head is two centimeters long, and then we have the body is seven centimeters long. I'm not gonna get fancy and draw the antenna or the legs or anything like that. Okay, so this is our grasshopper, and so we need to find the total length of the grasshopper, okay? So you see total, and that will tell you. You can add here, all right? Okay, so we just need to add two centimeters plus seven centimeters. So we can write our equation, two plus seven equals nine. And we're using centimeters. So we could have written 2 cm plus 7 cm equals 9 cm. That would have been proper. We need to write our sentence to answer our question. Okay, the total length of the grass hopper is 9 cm. Okay. There you go. And so then when you do your exit ticket, okay, it says Sarah lined up her centimeter cubes to find the length of the picture of the paintbrush. Sarah thinks the picture of the paintbrush is five centimeter cubes long. Is her answer correct? Explain why or why not. Okay, so you see she has spaces between her centimeter cubes. So I think back, I thought it was really important that you make sure you have your centimeter cubes touching to make sure you have an accurate measurement. Okay, so think about that when you are answering this question of is she correct that this paintbrush is only five centimeters long? Okay, well, I hope this helped.